As demolition plans continue to unfold, downtown businesses are struggling. Last week, we told you how the city and chamber are partnering to provide $200,000 to businesses most affected by the blast. Now, the city is working to pinpoint which businesses will benefit while also pledging to improve its communication with downtown stakeholders. The people in this room and in City Hall need to be out facing the people in these businesses because it's brutal. And it's savage down here what they're saying. And the city has to have a communication plan. Restaurants, bars, and other downtown Youngstown businesses are awaiting word from the city to see if they will benefit from the 200,000 explosion relief dollars. It is really going to be a band-aid, and we recognize that, which is why we're, we're talking with philanthropic partners to say, hey, can you, um, you know, match us some kind of way. From ongoing construction and the explosion, the city wants to focus its financial resources on businesses that rely on walking traffic. It is definitely a temporary fix. As a business owner, that help will probably blow through in a day. Once we get all the information, we can look at whether or not we can give out more to help our businesses. And council members, including Julius Oliver and Mike Ray, calling on better communication coming from city officials to these downtown business owners. It's pretty much uncomfortable to, to go out because I get bombarded and there's lots of things going on to remedy this and it's just not the words not being spread. I just want it to be communicated better and there's got to be a way we can do that. City leaders say ways to improve communication with the downtown community include a Youngstown portal or text thread to keep businesses up to speed. The city's administration pledged to meet with downtown business leaders soon and will announce who will receive a cut of the 200,000 the week of July 14th. Now, the city is also eligible to use its remaining ARP dollars to help keep businesses afloat.